72 today, <laughs> sunshine. Oh my goodness. Uh, south winds will pick up just a briefly here at 7 to 12 miles per hour, but it's going to be a relatively light wind day. Uh, we're playing baseball for ORU. It's uh, Missouri State this afternoon at 3 o'clock, so get a little time. You want to go watch some baseball today? It's going to be a spectacular day. Uh, the temperatures for first pitch at 72 by the end of the game, 72 as well. No major wizard, weather issues. And then by uh, 8 and 9 o'clock tonight, the temperature is going to drop slowly into the 60s and by 10 o'clock at 58. I mean, all in all, this is spectacular stretch of weather so you know I tell you all the time you can wash your car in the middle of a snowstorm if you want to in terms of weather issues there's really no big thing coming up here there's a little small window Wednesday night and early Thursday morning that will track an opportunity for an isolated storm or two that'll be near Tulsa northward I'll show you where I think that's going to be in just a second back to today Daytime highs. Let's check it out in your hometown. 69 around the Jane Grove area. 69 in Westville. 71 in Coeta. 73 in Sand Springs. So basically, the more west we go today, the temperature will end up being a little higher. Uh, Stillwater, the projection is at 75. Southern Oklahoma, both sides of I-40. It is 70 degree weather straight across the board. Old Mulgee at 74. Right down the Indian Nations Turnpike to McAllister at 75. And if you wanted to keep on going, we'll be in the upper 70s today across extreme southeastern Oklahoma into the North Texas area. Here's the setup for this next storm system. Today, no issues. Tomorrow morning, low clouds should develop early on in the morning. So tomorrow morning should not look like this morning. Uh, the clouds will stick around for a while, and then those clouds will try to thin out a little bit through the afternoon. Tomorrow is breezy, a little bit on the windy side, not flat out windy, but a little breezy, and we'll have temperatures into the upper 70s around the metro to the west and south. And then this storm system will move right across far northern Oklahoma in southern Kansas. So 11 p.m. Wednesday night until around 3 to 4 o'clock Thursday morning. That is not a very large window of opportunity for a thunderstorm, but we may have a couple that would develop and then that will move out and then this front pushes through. That'll bring us the gusty north winds on Thursday and just a minor reduction in temperature. So as we mentioned a couple of minutes ago, uh, it's not impossible even in February, that you can have, you know, strong and severe storms. Remember, it's, it's all about how the parameters line up. So Wednesday night late, early Thursday morning, this is the severe weather risk assessment. But we're at the very low end right now for this mention. So uh, we don't anticipate a whole lot, you know, significant opportunity for the storms, but there will be, I think, at least one or two. So prior Tulsa, Stillwater, Pawnee, Tahlequah, generally along this area to the north, a slight mention. A little better chance just slightly north of that into southern Kansas, into the Ozarks, and northwestern Arkansas. All in all, it is a pleasant week. Just going to have to watch that little system late Wednesday night, early Thursday. Thursday, north winds will pick up. It'll be quite brisk early in the morning with a 20 to 30 mile per hour wind and a temperature uh, Thursday morning that's going to be in the upper 40s, lower 50s. Friday, no weather issues there. And then over the weekend, it's looking pretty good. 72 on Saturday, 77 on Sunday.